all right over here um i'm gonna try to make this short you know i'm long-winded so i talk for a long time but in my um divu we have some kale growing up there and this is chinese broccoli that i'm probably gonna move because i believe it's being shaded out from the kale but the kale has been doing amazing in this unit um it has a couple of quirks but mainly with the app so it's not a big deal to me i'm just assuming that one day they will work them out these were just launched in i believe december so a relatively new unit but the, it's built very well um the function is pretty good they just need to get the app together and the water and nutrient reminders over here in my Harvest XL that I still have not decided if I really like or not. Um, that is a lone collared plant. The other one did not germinate. It is growing. Um, it's time for some nutrients. I need to check the level in there. Down here we have two, what started as cuttings from my baby micro plant over there. So they are just starting to flower, even though they are little, tiny, adorable things. Then we have my beautiful Paris Island Cost Romaine lettuce. Um, I just started harvesting this a few days ago, and it's growing like crazy. This is a cutting from one of the AG Heirloom cherries. This was a total experiment just to show how to take a cutting from a tomato. I left the flower on there. Usually you want to cut all flowers off because you want the plant to focus on rooting. But tomatoes root so easily that I left the flower there and it actually turned into a tomato. Uh, I just put this in here yesterday, but it has really nice roots on the stem. Um, and now that it's getting nutrients, finally it should take and look healthy like those. Down here we still have some dwarf Siberian kale and Egyptian spinach. I'm probably going to harvest all of both of those today. Um, the, the, the kale looks like it wants to make a comeback, so we'll see. But that spinach is so weirdly growing. Look at that. <laughs> I might get rid of that. This one I cleared. It actually had some chives in it. I moved the chives to over here with these peppers, kind of surrounding the peppers to see if we keep the aphids away. Up here, some new items. Here we have some um, winter choy and some mizuna. Uh, I'm not sure when I started these, but they're just really getting going, as you see. This is a tangled jungle of salad grains. So we have some mescaline mix, outrageous lettuce, Chinese narrow leaf lettuce, salad burnet, and some tom thumb lettuce in that unit. I might split a couple of these out or I might just let it go wild because the idea with this is just to harvest as much as possible around the outside of all of them. Um, and this is my tomato cutting that is now growing like crazy. Starting to look a little sickly actually. Interesting. So I'm going to have to do some checking on that. Um, it was looking really healthy. It might be a nutrient issue. Again, I w I've been so busy the past few weeks. I have not been taking care of everything like I should. So do some checking how get rid of the beat up leaves. Um, adjust nutrients and see how it does there. Down here we have my absolutely gorgeous orange hat tomato plant. Look at this thing. So they don't get very tall. What's that like five inches? But look how wide it goes. So you could put one of these like in a one gallon cracky, which is what size these are, and it would just spread across. It is so gorgeous and loaded with tomatoes. This is the baby micro. It's also loaded. It's a much smaller plant and it looks crazy right now because it's still recovering from when the water ran out in this unit. And what's amazing is that the orange hat recovered so fast um, and has just grown like crazy and the baby micro at that time lost leaves and some of it is recovering, some's not. So I'm gonna clip away some of that. And that was when I took these cuttings because I wasn't sure if that plant was going to make it, but it did. Over here, the click and grow spinach experiment. I mentioned I was going to find something else to do with the click and grow. So once I moved the basil, those pods were stuffed with cocoa core. 
and I put spinach seeds in each one. They germinated. That back one has actually started to bolt already. I cut the flowers off. Um, I have eaten only a few leaves so far. These are the newest sprouts here. So we're gonna see if I move those somewhere else or what. Um, I might move them into an AG because I like the idea of using these units to sprout difficult seeds. So I might keep uh, doing that. And I actually caught another one on Marketplace for a great price, $60. So that'll be what that's for. Um, over here we have heirloom cherry tomatoes, which moved, it was a cutting and it's now doing fabulous. Got some ripe tomatoes. That one's actually overripe, take that off. That is my ahi lemon. Um, pepper. My peppers are all beat up for the most part. This is habanero um, because of the stupid aphids. Up here we have the KSLS. Uh, look, look at that one though. Sugar Rush Peach. Those are all ripening, turning colors. I'm excited about that. Another KSLS. This is my fish pepper. Got a red one on there. This has been doing great and, and um, starting to produce a lot of flowers. Here we have my little mystery pepper that I saved from outside. It's doing great. Here we have um, a golden harvest tomato plant. Got some babies on there. I just moved this into this jar yesterday, bigger jar, and I'm trying some vermistera in there. Basil, more basil. Back here is my other habanero that I cut back and it's been pretty dormant for a couple of months and then I noticed this week new leaves look at that coming from the bottom which is interesting so back to these peppers these peppers may get thrown out these were the ones that were started in the harvest exhale there they barely grew they were super leggy they got a super late start so now here we are at 86 days and this is as tall as they are but when I uh, moved them, I put the stem way deep down in there so that it would root really well. There's been some flowers. I've been breaking them off and the aphids just won't leave them alone. So they're not healthy. I'm really just trying to make them hold on until I can move them outside. And if they make it, then they'll be just fine outside. Oh, back there, lemon basil. So in this unit is smelly things that hopefully aphids don't like. <laughs> Over here, oh my lord, the bane of my existence right now. This bait alpha cucumber. This is from Baker Creek. Not doing so great, but I do have six little baby cucumbers on here now. Two of them, I have noticed, are starting to yellow, which means they're going to die right there. So I'm hoping that at least a couple of these make it. I now have several other, look at that, that one's beautiful. I hope it grows and makes it. And this is a self-pollinating type, so I'm not supposed to have to do anything to pollinate these. Um, the females are just supposed to grow, so that's one, but that's not gonna make it. Two, three, four. Up here we have five, it's already all dead, and then six at the top. There might be more, but we will see what happens with that. I have other varieties that I'm going to try. Then on to the Serendipity Dwarf, another thing that has not been doing so well right now, but look at these two gorgeous tomatoes. So after these ripen, I will probably just chop this whole plant down, uh, way, way, way down, because that's also what this is and what that is. Those were cuttings that I took from that plant since it wasn't doing well. And these are just doing fantastic that light back they are starting to flower in several places there those flowers are opening right there so i'm gonna make sure i get a fan on those today so we get some tomatoes strawberries again these strawberries are um runners from the outdoor garden i've rooted runners again and again and again this unit's full of them this here this is my trican that I did a review on previously, but the thing died. I've only had it for 10 months, but I've only used it for a total of about three months. And then I had another unit that looks exactly like this, but gray, Lyco, L-Y-K-O. I'm gonna 
say to avoid both of these on Amazon. They are made ex exactly the same. And there's another one, Yucca. Y O O C A A. And I think one called, um, there's another one that starts with a Q. I can't remember. But these are not well made. Sorry. The fact that this light pole here is in the middle means there's too much of a chance of accidentally getting water in there. Um, and you have to clean the thing. And But yeah, I don't know what happened. This just burned out. I didn't get water in it. And I have two other friends whose trachans have burned out in about the same time period or shorter. The Lyco one stopped working too. So, not well made, not a good unit. Now, there are some good third-party units out there, like the I Do's. I like the I Do's for the most part. If you know the limitations, they work great. This is a 7-pod, that's a 10-pod. I like the 10-pod better because it does have at least that window for water um, level there. The only thing I don't like about these is that I wish the lights went down a little bit lower in both cases so that the plants would get off to a stronger start. So this was a uh, little gem lettuce that I harvested all of. It bolted. I didn't have time to clean out the unit. <laughs> and so when you leave lettuce just sitting there, it starts growing new lettuce again. So I'm just letting it do its thing and see how that goes. Up here, we have three golden harvest tomato plants. I think I'm going to take the middle plant out of here and I'm going to take the middle plant out of here and move them to cracky so that the other two have more room to spread out and grow because as we have previously talked about less is more in some cases that's my two little garden heirloom cherries there that have been doing fantastic this was three um, this one's all beat up now for, from a water issue <clears throat> Um, but this on this side is doing great. So the water issue that I keep mentioning, and it actually keeps happening on this unit, I will link the video here. In Arrow Gardens, there's a float in the back that tells the unit when there's water or not. When your plants grow, sometimes the roots can get in the way of the float. And I made a video on how to trim up your roots to try to help that or keep that from happening. I'll link it. Um, so that's what happened to me, that unit there float was stuck didn't know it was out of water so now I just go through and I check them every day even if it does not say add water here we have some more romaine lettuce and some red romaine lettuce here we have more strawberries and I'm just letting these runners go crazy as you see because as it gets closer to time for outside I'm going to root them and plant them here we have basil I just chopped down um, red lettuce from these two that was finally at the end of life here we have peppers that I am waiting for them to recover this was a KSLS that got really beat up from um, me fighting aphids this was my lemon spice jalapeno so hopefully these peppers will come back we will see this is still my original herb garden Thai basil Genevieve basil um, the deal is gone and we have a little time left down here we have lots of beautiful rosemary left that was the outdoor cutting that I brought in and then we have I think that's the lemon thyme up here we have my gorgeous Swiss chard um, three types oh, this one's perpetual spinach that much I know and I think this is the magenta and that one is the what is this Lu Luculus I think it's called the golden harvest tomatoes and all of those tomatoes I made it I made it to everything and so as mentioned I will be starting seeds I'm starting super hot peppers first because some of those can take a little bit longer um, and I'm gonna do them in two ways I'm gonna do some in arrow gardens and then I have some seed starting trays and things waiting here see my other green stalk over there I actually have two new green stalks over there waiting to go outside um, yeah so that is it for me for now thank you for watching please like and subscribe and if there's any videos you think you would like for me to make like i'll be working on one for uh seed starting in your aerial gardens this will be my second year doing it that way and it went absolutely wonderfully last year so i'm going to share the few things that i have learned and if you're on facebook 
feel free to join my group. There will be a link below. Ta-ta for now.